You've just gotten off work and you've been invited out to the bar after work with a group of friends to celebrate a new promotion. You sit down at the bar, arriving a little bit early, and the barkeep, the brunette woman, polishing a glass while she's taking care of another customer, a burly gentleman at the other end of the bar. She signals over to you that she'll be a moment because she's got to finish taking this order. So you sit in, you look around at the bustling pub, listening to the vaguely poppy country music going on. Suddenly, pop! You hear a loud bang, like a firework, and a scream outside. How do you react? What do you do? Alright, so obviously I can't actually hear you through a video screen, but feel free to comment down below what you wanted to do and how you would have responded. Maybe you wanted to run and hide, considering it sounded like a gunshot. Maybe instead you wanted to go look at the window and just kind of from the safety of the bar see what's going on. Maybe you just wanted to go outside, throw all caution to the wind, figure out what's going on. You have that agency, you have that choice, it's all up to you, and the sky really is the limit. Hey all, welcome back to our cafe. So in our last video, we were talking about homebrew rules to make our TTRPG games more cinematic as a whole, but then I got a comment saying, hey man, I really love your passion, but I don't really know what TTRPGs are. Might have been an enthusiastic family member. However, it did lead to the question that, like, what really is D&D and what makes up these TTRPGs that we love? Is imagine your favorite books or movies, TV shows, or even video games. Remember the best moments that those have brought out for you, the emotions, the highs and the lows. That's what D&D or TTRPGs tends to bring out, except you get to do it with a whole group of people. You get to do it with your friends sitting at a table. And on top of that, you and your friends are the main characters of the story. So you get to add your very own personal touch to whatever is going on. Now, of course, when the general public says D&D, &D, if they're not thinking about a satanic cult ritual that uh, is sacrificing virgins to the devil of Slenderman, they usually mean something more in the line of TTRPGs or tabletop role-playing games. These games are really just the games of make-believe that we used to play as kids, but a little more you know, edgy with rules and dice. Really, these are just games of math and improv all rolled into one big game, then shared with your group of friends. The dungeon master, the person who's running the game, creates these scenarios for players to play through, kind of like a game designer. The players then build characters to play through these scenarios and the world that the dungeon master is presenting to them, doing things from simply exploring, gathering treasures, battling monsters, all the way up to potentially changing the course of history in the fictional world that's presented to them. Kind of think of your group as collectively writing a story. The dungeon master is in control of the setting and who the antagonists are, what their plans are, how they execute those plans, but the players are in control of their characters. They're the main characters and they get to face the adversaries that the DM has prepared for. Some people have had this conception that D&D is a board game, and while there are elements that could be represented in that way, it's just not a board game. You can use battle maps and miniatures to represent and approximate what's going on within the game world, making it look kind of like a, a board game of sorts, but the game itself takes place primarily in your mind, uh, in your imagination. Now that we know, in general, what tabletop role-playing games are, now what? Well, if you're interested in starting, there are lots of systems to choose from, that is, different TTRPGs themselves, like Dungeons & Dragons, or Pathfinder, or Call of Cthulhu, or Starfinder. And they usually have some sort of free version of their rules, whether it's a system reference document, or core reference document, or simply a quick start rules guide. You can use those to start playing, for free, most of the time. Or, if you want to delve right into the most common one, the Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition Player's Handbook is the most readily available version of the game where you can just pay the price and jump in. Now, if you don't want to jump right to running a game in a system you've never played before, very understandable, see if maybe you have any friends that do have experience with the game that maybe run a game that you could play at or would be willing to start running a game for you and a group of friends. Otherwise, you could head to maybe a local game store that sells D&D books and ask them if they have some sort of like adventures league or something similar that you can jump right into and play. There's plenty of online resources such as Facebook groups or Reddit pages where you can go post that you're looking for a game or looking for players and you'll get tons of responses. A smaller resource, if you'd like to use it, is my Discord link down below as well. Feel free to post any questions you have or that you're looking for a group or that you're looking for players and see what happens. Have fun in the Discord and then at least that way too, if you have any questions for me directly, I can answer them and be a source to upgrade your fun. Well, I think that about covers the topic of what is D&D &D and TTRPGs uh, and I hope you enjoyed it along with your drink of choice. If you did, thank you for coming out to the cafe 
and let me know what your thoughts were. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe, and let me know how I can serve you better in the future. All the best. Cheers.